this is cheap wanderer for those of you that haven't figured it out the jeep is cheap wanderer not me i'm lee spicer but anyway here's the jeep uh from the back side hey you know what let's turn some lights on you're gonna light this uh, take this remote control right here let there be light all right now this is what we have we have the back side of those panels we have my pillows uh, the battery box holds the battery box in that black set of drawers holds my pillows up in the air for me I can sit up nice and straight if I want to by stacking this on top uh, that's for storage over there that's where I keep all of my camera equipment I will not leave it out or even in the trailer I keep it in here uh, driver's seat because I need one and this is my bed it goes all the way to the dashboard and uh, it's seven foot eight and I'm six foot three so there's plenty of room uh, also on the dashboard you'll see the monitor right there and if I flip this switch it'll turn that monitor on and what you see there is the face of the trailer. That's my camera that's back there. It's mounted to the roof. And that's the front of the trailer. Turn that back off. Don't need it. Don't need to run the batteries. Okay, turn the lights off. Matter of fact, now what I'll do is unless unless I'm uh, Ah, oh, pardon me. Unless I'm using uh, electricity to run my radio, my play my radio. What I like to do. Ow. What I like to do is turn the, the power inverter off. Then wait until I get a float charge which means my battery is fully charged from my solars and uh, solar solar panels anyway the uh, once that's got a full charge on it then I just I just start charging everything that I want to charge my uh, my batteries for my cameras uh, my phones uh, my laptops uh, my bubble lamp Meet Bubba. I don't know what the name of this lamp is, but I named it. I gave it a nickname. Man, that left shoulder don't work. There, do it this way. I gave it a nickname, Bubba, because it's a brute. Oh, it's called Might D Light. This thing, I put. I put cables on it so that way I can hang it. But it folds up like this. It's completely rechargeable. It's got earth magnets on the back of it. It's got earth magnets on the back of it, and that's what hooks it to the any metal surface. Now, the magnets are on both ends. It, it lights up beautifully. And uh, and then I'll put these cables back through here. Open as far as it'll go, push it up against Cheap's body, and there you go. It works gorgeous. Lights up everything down underneath here. <coughs> I've had that bubble lamp <coughs> since 2010, and here it is eight years later, and it still works. It works like it came out of the store. It's so good. I charge it every day. Um, you can use the light while it's plugged in on the charger, which is unusual for a lot of things. But anyway, I have lights that the, the light string goes all the way around cheap. 
<coughs> from this side across the front and down across the other side, the driver's side. It lights up everything all the way around here when I need it to. Not the back, of course, but we don't need it because we have the great big spotlight in the back. Oh. So. Oh. Oh, also, once we hit a full float, uh, I'll plug this chair in. And I have learned that running extension cords to plug this chair in is not working very well. But if I plug it in directly, I'm going to try today and see if I can plug it in directly and get a good full charge on the chair. Here's the hoping. If not, I'll have to keep charging it at the house or maybe at gas stations or even Walmart sometimes will let some, you, a person charge their electric chairs and their scooters at their charge station. So, you just have to carry the charger with you, which is not a problem because I have a pouch on the back of my seat that's plenty good enough for storing that charger. So anyway, that's the tour. That's what you get. All right, y'all, this is very, very important. Um, <clears throat> I waited this, until just after noon and my charge controller, let's see if you can get that, where is it, right there. When the two green dots are flashing like that that means that the battery is fully charged and everything is running off from solar so I plugged in this which is my battery charger for my chair I plugged it into my power inverter which is showing that it's running 151 amps it's still charging from this charge controller get this out of your way so it's charging that my solar panels this is exciting to me my solar panels are charging my electric chair and that is very very exciting to me because that means my battery is not being drained at all my battery will be fresh later tonight when I need it and it's dark outside and I need to run lights and maybe even watch a movie on the computer or something okay well I went and said all that and now it's running off, it's not running off the solar panels anymore, now it's running off the battery. So now I got to monitor it. Right now, we're at 12.6. If that gets down to 12.2, actually if it gets down to 12.3, that's enough, I'm done. I won't do anymore. But if it, uh... And then I'll just let the solar panels recharge the battery again. But I am going to try this out. It's, it's what, it's about 1 o'clock in the afternoon or so. So we still have a few good hours of, of sunlight. Here's the hoping. My excitement is back. We are climbing. Our solar is climbing to 12.9 right now. Our amperage has drawn or dropped down to 115 amps. It's charging. Everything is working. Everything is working beautiful. I think what happened last time was I used the chair. Last time I used the chair, ran the batteries down to near nothing brought it back and tried to charge it while the batteries are still hot. I think that's where I made a mistake. I think that if I had to let it sit until the next day and then tried charging the chair, I think the solar would have worked beautiful. <coughs> but that's a lesson learned. Right now my solar is doing an excellent job at charging this chair, which just makes me as happy as happy could be. Because that, that, that tells me right there that I'm not stuck at camp. I can go other places in my chair 
it might not be a long distance, but it's a decent distance. I won't have to stop at Walmarts or anything like that and get permission to plug my chair in. Which I've seen. I've never done it, but I've seen people do it, so I'm pretty sure it's doable. I'm assuming they got permission to plug in their chairs, but I've seen the scooters and stuff plugged into the walls that didn't belong to Walmart. Our solar is not floating right now, but we have gone all the way up in the amount of time that I've been talking to 13.2 volts. That means the, the solar panels are back to raising or doing all the work. This is just exciting to me. This is very, very exciting to me. Can't wait to share that. When that's done charging, then I'll finish charging the Canon and the Nikon, uh, the Galaxy, and the um, the GoPro are already charged. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about the batteries in the trail cam. I think I'll just try them out tonight. And if they don't work well for me, then I will just swap them out with some Rayovacs. And if I have to keep buying batteries, I will. The rechargeable batteries I bought, for some reason, aren't taking a charge. They're just getting hot. So, let's see what happens. But, anyway. Yes, very exciting news. My solar will charge my chair, which makes my independence that much stronger. Very cool. Yep. That's it for now. I'll get back to you with something else. An update on the charger for the chair and the solar. Our amperage has dropped down to 76 and our voltage has jumped to 14. That means the chair is almost done charging. This is extremely super exciting to me. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. <laughs> Probably three or four times already. But yes, yeah, super exciting. I am so happy about this. I was, you wouldn't have believed how disappointed I was the first time I tried it. And, uh, and all it did was drop everything down to 12.2, 12.3, 12.2, and I was in voltage, and I was like, there's no way that's going to, it's going to destroy my battery, and I'm not going to do it. Uh, but today, we had such great sun, and, uh, and the solar started floating early, and I was like, I have got to try this one more time. i got to try it again. Glad I did. Super excited. Thank you for watching. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. Green light. It is done. My solar system just charged my electric chair. I'm the happiest man on the planet. Thank you very much for watching. See ya. Bye.